Good morning, Cancer. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to Path of Enlightenment Tarot. For those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. For those of you who are new, welcome. I am Nicole. Cancer, this is going to be your mid-February 2024 reading. This will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus cross watcher, if that's you. Welcome to the channel as well. Just want to say quickly thank you to all of the new uh, subscribers, the likes, the shares, the comments. Uh, the booking of personal readings, the donations that have been made to the channel. You guys have been amazing, and I appreciate each and every single one of you. Uh, Cancer, again, the 2024, Jesus, um, I can't talk this week to save my behind. Um, your mid-February reading, so from now till uh, the end of the month, let's see uh, what is going on for you guys, and we're just going to go from there, okay? So, get my coffee in me today, right? Get moving. All right, Cancer, let's see what is transpiring for you all. Um, personal readings are open and available. That information is in the description box below in the About section of the page as well. So if you're interested, shoot me an email. All right, Cancer, let's see what's going on for you guys. Spirit for the sign of Cancer, the rest of February 2024. All right, let's see. Patience and affirmation. Um, cancer, it's kind of like you're starting to dissect. Um, not even like you're starting to, but you ha I feel like you have been. You have been dissecting uh, parts to your emotional plane. And it's like, I, I'm, I'm going to say I'm very proud of you. <laughs> the Spirit is saying they're very proud of you um, for finally giving yourself the compassion that you deserve. Uh, you're realizing, you know, that Rome wasn't built in a day. You're not going to transcend everything overnight, especially when you have had a lifetime of things that have brought you maybe to your knees, who or things that have, or even who, like saying who, like who and what put, you know, I say, I don't say anybody put you in a position, but for lack of better words, put you in a position um, to have to do some healing, right? We don't always have control over our experiences um, and the actions of others, but the healing becomes our responsibility. And I think there's a lot of a lot around that right now that you are slowly picking things apart and understanding. Spirit is just telling me to remind you not to pick yourself apart. It's okay to pick apart the pieces of things um, and, and dissect that accordingly but don't you know go hard at yourself all right so but I do feel like you are giving yourself a little more um a little more grace than I've seen you guys have in, in some time so I like that energy for you I think that's a healthy energy to be in so I'm watching these what you know all the water signs not just you know can't or not just you guys, but even Scorpio and, and Pisces, there's there's an evolution that's going on. But I will say this, um, and, and Spirit's bringing this to my attention too, that there are still things coming up. And so Cancer, it's kind of like Spirit's kind of giving you the heads up that there will still be things at, that, you know, situations or whatever that come up that may tend to come in and try to trigger you. Whether it's to get a response or you start to notice even, you know, faults of your own and not saying that, you know, like, we all have faults, right? We all have pros and cons. There's always something to improve or work on or address so that life m moves more efficiently for us um, or that we're not repeating past patterns, mistakes, all of those things. And, and as I say that, I look down here and there's the wisdom card, right? So it's like taking control of the wisdom that you've acquired and going, okay, I've worked on this piece. Now I see where I can do better in this, in this area of my life or situations. Um, spirit is using the word dynamics, the dynamics around particular situations, regardless of what they are for you. So it's like, um, you know, you start to look at yourself and examine that, those areas Spirit's saying, you know, make sure that you continue on with the patience and the grace that um, you've been giving yourself. Now, the caution card comes out with the wisdom, again, still sitting under the bottom of the deck. 
uh, this caution to me is like, it's almost like you're questioning um, the spirit is saying what, if what you see is true. Uh, and I feel like that it's almost like it gives me this impression, Cancer, of you almost gaslighting yourself from time to time. It's like, you know, did that really happen? Did these things really occur? Am I making something up in my mind? And I think that's kind of where Spirit is asking you right now, um, and as you move forward, to give yourself that grace, to give yourself the space to understand that um, anything, if you know, if you've dealt with, I mean, if you've dealt with a narcissist, right, and a word gets tossed around like it's candy, um, but understand that, you know, that's one of many tendencies of narcissism. But if you've dealt with people in the past where you've had this experience where they've gaslit you, um, you may find yourself in a space sometimes where you almost feel like you're doing it to yourself and you're questioning your own reality. Um, <clears throat> your experience, exp or your experience speaks for itself, Cancer. And, you know, don't deny what you know to be your truth. So it's very important that you hang in there. And I, you know, seen that caution card come out and I thought, oh shit, here we go. But it doesn't feel um, like you've got anything or anybody coming at you as much as you tend to come at yourself. Make sure that you're healing things. The number 33, and actually, you know, for my older Cancerians, um, <clears throat> Spirit is specifically giving address to 33 years ago. So what that marker is for you, um, for some of you it may resonate, for others of you it's probably not going to, but um, there's something around that time marker and that may be you know, 33 years of dealing with that or dealing with the scenario that surrounded a particular situation. It's going backwards, you know, we, we move forward in life every single day, it's the next day and the next day and the next day. But in order to process our healing we have to go backwards. It's peeling the layers back of that onion that I talk about so often and going, this is what I was built up to be. This is where I've gained all of these layers. And now in order to, you know, course correct, heal, address, uh, see my truth, I have to peel them back and dissect each one and go, what did I learn in this particular layer? Uh, what did I experience here? And I, I feel like that's what you're doing and it's a healthy, again, healthy energy to be in for you. It's just requiring your patience and it's requiring grace. Okay, so I don't I don't feel like this is a bad energy cancer. I, I really do like this and I've got the I've got the chills. My it's either that or sneezes or my confirmation, right? All right, cancer. Let's see what else comes out for you guys mid-February. Beautiful, beautiful message there. All right, for cancer, what tried to come out here strength and and, and you know and it, it kind of started to come out in the um, upright and then kind of turned on me here and went in the reverse it, you know use your strength as the catalyst for your own motivational factors and I say this because I've got the, the motivation card in the sacrifice um, cancer sometimes it feels like you are in this present awareness of um, whether you call it perseverance, strength, courage, tenacity, whatever term you want to use. Um, and I do feel like that when you step into this energy in regards to giving yourself grace or you're questioning if you, what, if your reality is real, um, that's when your foundations, because you get two fours here, tend to, um, like one minute you could feel exceptionally great and life is just hee-haw, right? Like, beautiful then there's these moments where this doubt creeps in and it's like you feel like your world has gone from zero to 60 and 60 to zero in like a half of a second again it's just a requirement of you to use this for for your purpose rather than to use it for um pick again the spirit is greatly emphasizing picking yourself apart let it be your motivation. Don't let it be the thing that depresses you or wears you down or tells you you're not good enough again. Like, pay attention to, and I think I've seen that affirmations card right in the beginning. Uh, spirits looping back to that, saying, you know, positive self-talk, Cancer. 
remind yourself of all of the things that are so wonderful about you. And I'm going to tell you, um, don't be afraid. It's kind of funny that I'm hearing this, but don't be afraid to, you know, look to your partner or the people in your life that care about you the most and love you the most and just say, you know, what are the good, if you, if you're in a period of doubt that you don't see anything good of yourself or you're struggling to see the clarity of that, not that we should be necessarily seeking external validation, but also don't be afraid to look at someone and say, you know, what qualities do you see about me that you find admirable? And that may sound a little weird, right? Uh, asking somebody those things, but especially if you're like your spouse, your partner, um, even your kids. You know, I remember one time, um, I don't. I never even asked my daughter, but we were talking about something and she said, we were doing like a little book thing and we were filling stuff in. And it was something about like, something about your favorite person or something like that. And she, it's, and she responded with, my mommy is the most brave person I know, you know, and that in itself made me feel good because we had been through so much at that point that here's this child who sees me as brave, as her hero, right? So, you know, sometimes just hearing those things, especially when you doubt your own ability to move forward or feel motivated to deal with things can be a little bit of an uplift for you. So, you know, don't, don't necessarily seek external validation, but at the same time, like, it's okay. And Spirit's saying it's okay to be praised. It's okay to see the, these, the goodness within you. Um, <clears throat> interestingly enough, 13 and 31, you've got the Scorpio or the, the sacrifice card, which is the death card in the original tarot deck, but this is sacrifice Andromeda. Um, the sacrifices that you have made cancer, um, again, power, purpose, let that be your motivation. You know, a lot of people can take a lot of lumps in life and see it as a way to find an excuse for all the reasons they can't succeed or excel in life. I don't feel like that's what you're doing. And I, I think that you've learned how to navigate that to use it for purpose, but it's like trying to stay the course trying to stay on that side of it and not let yourself get down on days where things might feel a little difficult, right? So <clears throat> I will say to Cancer, what's coming up is that for some of you, you could kind of look at a parent and talk about like a 33 year period and it doesn't have to be, but looking back, like maybe a parent, um, <clears throat> you, you could, I'm going to say this, you could have felt like the sacrificial lamp somehow too. Like, you know, maybe you weren't the favorite child or um, you weren't favored in certain situations and things like that. And that is, is part of this for you. Is like you've seen yourself as being sacrificed in some capacity or another, you know. And I don't want to say that you've got victim mentality um, because it's not quite victim mentality. But it's like there's healing to be done around that relationship, scenario, family dynamic, whatever it is for you that is just requiring you to have to address that and then heal. Uh, Spirit, and I remember saying to you before, I can't remember when it was, might be a couple months ago, about forgiveness. And um, <clears throat> there could be very much a situation here, Cancer, where those feelings are coming up that is like a parent-child kind of dynamic as well. So <clears throat> it definitely feels family-oriented to me, not so much partnerships, you know, as adults or what have you. But I do think that if you can just stay the course, find the strength within you to be motivated by those things that goes, you know, like, I'm not going to let that be the thing that dictates my life or defines me as who I am. Um, you're going to be fine. And I do feel like the rest of February, that's going to be in your primary focus here uh, as to what you're working on and working towards for yourself. And I think it's, again, I think it's a beautiful energy to be in. All right. Cancer. Let's see what else. Past, present, future here. Temperance, the patience card, right? It is a card of patience, so more patience. Um, you're learning how to alchemize those two sides, most definitely. And I've seen a lot of that alchemization happening uh, for the water signs. And then, funny enough, the strength card and the nine of cups come out. So we had the patience in the beginning, and there's the strength card, and that's the one that came out upright but then fell reverse. So again, and then these, these two coming out together, some days, again, it, this is reiterating, 
feeling on your A game and, and feeling like you've got it figured out and other days kind of caught between the, those two senses of feelings, a lot of cups here. You got 11 cups on the table with between temperance and the nine of cups. So it's like, um, it's almost like feeling the need to cross that threshold for yourself in the way that it's like nine is the end, right? 10 is a new beginning. And it's like, you're wanting to jump, like you're jumping pretty quickly. You know, granted there's no 11 in tarot besides, um, gosh, my brain just went blank. What is the 11? I can't even think right now. Now I have to look. Oh my gosh. Why did I drawing a blank? Oh my goodness. What card is the 11? It's not the hang, or no, it's not the hangman's 12. Hold on. Oh my goodness. My brain is like, we're not counting numbers today. <laughs> Hold on. I got to look at this. Like all of a sudden my mind is just drawing a blank. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see here, Cancer. <laughs> I don't know why I can't think of it. Honest to goodness. I'm thinking like all the other cards around it. I'm like, I oh, know that's not right. Yeah, you've got the wheel, right? Which is that 10. Um, justice. There we go. My brain was not not working. Uh, you could have Libra, Leo, or Sag placements. Doesn't have to be. Funny enough, though, that Emperor is behind that. Um, you know, this is like finding, it's kind of like you're going from this, I, I'm going to call it an isolated energy of the nine, though, because that is, that is the self. Um, that 10 is like, I'm going to hurdle right through this. And then to that 11, it, it's two, it's partnerships. It's bringing you, bringing things together. But at the same time, this is balance. This is, and I'm going to say restoration of, um, for some of you, spirit is saying judicial balance with the justice card. But at the same time, there's a, an acknowledgement of truth. There's something, you know, in the ethers, if you will, will say, you know, spirit, God, whatever, that is course correcting it's almost like you're jumping these hurdles from like it's almost um it's like you're skipping stones you know if you're jumping on stones it's like you can skip on you can take this one big leap forward with this justice card and that's how it feels and then you know what's interesting to me is you've got this this masculine dynamic of the emperor the justice and the hierophant all together that's great spiritual involvement that, that's occurring for you as well and it's, it's almost like it's taking the control out of the hands of man and putting all of your faith into God's source, the universe, angels, guides, whatever. So it's bringing in complete freaking happiness. And the 11, it's funny, I just, this card fell down face down on the table and I left it there while I was talking. 11, 11. And I just said, you know, it's like you're skipping from the nine going to the 11, the 11, 11 card. Uh, of the four of wands is happiness it's celebration it, it's good things that are coming in and that's you know you're almost there cancer like i'm seeing the nine of cups in the in the strength card as crossing energies to that four of wands you're you're hanging in the balance of what's been difficult and and working your way through that with grace and as i say that the nine of wands is on the table so <clears throat> you're definitely pushing forward right now and it's again a beautiful energy to be in the present energy the justice card there's why well, i couldn't think of the 11 i have no idea but it comes out in the present energy again and it's like you're making that that great leap forward here um and it's like the the divine is stepping in on your behalf to rectify the situations and healing four of swords to take a rest being patient, right? That time out, like everything that I said in the intuitive is now coming out here on the table. Again, another four foundations that it's okay to take a moment when you need a moment. It's okay to breathe when you need a moment to breathe. A completion, talked about the completion with the 10, right? It's like you're, that's an ending and a new beginning. Successful completion of this cycle. And I'm going to tell you that I feel like as time goes by cancer, you're going to continue to push forward in this energy. Like you, again, and I said earlier, you're going to have these, you know, call them hiccups, whatever, where you may be triggered with certain things and you're going to have to work through that to peel back more of what is happening for you. But as this happens, it becomes less and less of a struggle because you start to feel inspired. You start to feel that motivation. You start to feel like, um, you're, you're building the confidence. And I think I, 
I titled Scorpio's video Untouchable or Unstoppable, something like that. But Spirit's giving me the word unstoppable. The, as you build up this confidence and this endurance of power within you, you're like, you're just feeling like it becomes easier <clears throat> to brave the things as you peel back those levels of healing for yourself. It just doesn't feel as heavy. So future energy for cancer, please, Spirit. The devil. <clears throat> and the star. Completion. Um, Spirit just said pull back with that devil energy. Um, and, and that, to me, again, that triggering, that's kind of what I'm getting from that. The hair of fault and the world card and the hangman. You gotta, I'm going to tell you what, Cancer, you have a shit ton of, of majors here. You've got temperance, which is Sag energy, justice, which is Libra, strength, Leo energy, the devil, Capricorn energy, the star, Aquarius energy. Um, Spirit just said this is going to be the most profound year of healing for you, whether you know it or not. The magician, the hangman, Virgo energy, or not Virgo, Pisces energy. I, heads out there. The hair of font, Taurus, and the world card, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio. So, again, like, just, there's a lot here that's happening for you. The wheel is spinning, and I, I do see... But, it as being like the wheel of fortune like you're finally making this this cycle or um, back around through your emotions um with this devil in the star you know i said I, I said unstoppable and i do feel like this devil is is the thing that's trying to keep it, whether it's keep you stuck or whatever but it's also about the thought process it could be dealing with other people that it's like devil energy as well um but that Libra card is like whether you know it or not um spirit said same devil different face you may end up meeting or coming in contact with somebody that reminds you very heavily of a situation you're trying to move on or move past you're healing that internal wound regardless of who pops up in your life 22 22 on the clock um because it's like it may feel so hard but it's like you refuse to bear the burden of somebody else's bullshit from before and you may come in contact with somebody that whether it's like their spirit showing me like their eyes their face like facial features a beard um doesn't have to be a male right but just the structure of the face is very similar to something or somebody that you have dealt with before that may be created or aided in creating this dynamic that in which now you're healing from and with that though spirit is saying like it's almost like you can look that in the face and be like you don't scare me anymore so I don't know what you guys have been through. Everybody's story is going to be different. But you are you are bravely facing the fears attached to this um, this devil energy. Six of swords, five of swords. Um, there's a little bit, Spirit just said a fear of repeat with this temperance card. Um, like you're, you're continuously moving through these cycles. Um, but ultimately here, uh, Cancer, you're walking away. You have two cards six of swords the eight of cups with this five of swords like there is some victory even when you thought that you didn't think you could be victorious or you could walk away from this and it's taken you a lot of like whether it's over analyzing overthinking um even years it's almost like when i talked about you picking yourself apart this comes in with this idea of self-sabotage that it's like if i just would have done this sooner or if i would have known you know then what I now know now, right? Like I could have done this differently. Cancer, don't don't beat yourself up on the timeline in which you're moving. You know, it's happening in divine timing. We weren't, you know, you weren't ready for it. We get into spaces where we're not ready for the things that we thought we were ready for. And then hindsight, we get to a certain point. Spirit saying five to six months down the line, you will then have a better understanding as to why this healing could not take place why you weren't ready to let that take place yet because it's going to change the way you analyze yourself more than anything so this four of wands spirit um 
Again, another card that came out in the upright but then flipped over, Page of Swords. This goes back to that, it's like, it's almost like lies, this gaslighting energy, two of swords, ten of swords. And then a lot of swords, holy moly, um, heart and head trying to figure it out together, right? And then the ace of swords, the truth. Um, I've said this many times, I don't know if it's been in one of your readings or not, but this two of swords, I'm, I actually like this one. I'm not a fan of the two of swords, I like this one because she is taking action towards removing that blindfold to see her way through it. And it's like, there's always a sense, Cancer, for the need of accountability in any situation, right? But I feel like you're starting to realize where you were not the responsible party in a situation that's led you to this point. There are things that people do, and like I said in the beginning, like it's not, we don't always have control over those situations. But our responsibility, our accountability leads us to have to heal from those things because it's a soul contract that we made coming into this existence that this was going to be the thing or these things were going to be the things that we were going to address this time around. And it's like you're questioning, have I actually learned? We have that card of wisdom. You know, the Page of Swords is, the Spirit is saying entrepreneur, but yes, okay, fine. However... This is about learning. This is examining. This is taking a look at all of those things. Um, and it's like, you kind of get caught back up in your mind going, did this really happen? Am I seeing it for what it is? Is this going to be too hard for me to navigate? No, not at all. You may feel that way because you're still dealing with these things, but it's still happening and again good days bad days you might feel fantastic at 6 a.m and by 6 p.m you're like stick a fork in me right it, it's it's like spirit is just telling you to take it day to day even moment to moment now I, I personally i can say went through a situation at one point and everyone would say just day by day day by day and i'm like i don't think you understand right now i'm living moment to moment because i don't know what the hell's coming next and that could be a little bit, I'm not saying that that's your overruling energy, but that can feel that way sometimes is one minute you feel really good thinking about one thing that kind of triggers you and goes, oh, you know, here we go again. But I feel like those here we go again moments are becoming less intense for you, okay? This justice card, what is this for cancer? Six of wands, the wheel of fortune. I said earlier about that. This is victory and success for you. This is you taking back the acknowledgement of the self. It's not about, you know, standing in the spotlight and getting your accolades. This is like an internal, like the little, you know, you, whoever you are, whatever your name is, you, you viewer, the inner child is going, oh my gosh, we're doing this. Oh my gosh, this is becoming different for us. And it's like praising the heavens. Like, you know, thank you spirit. Thank you God. Thank you universe for restoring the balance in my life that I've needed for so long because I don't know where I would be without it. There's just this innate transformation cancer that is happening within you that's putting you on top of that wheel like I talked about. It's like leaving all the black smoke behind. And it's funny because this morning I was thinking about some other things on a, on a different note and I kept seeing black smoke rolling out. And I'm like, ooh, am I talking, you know, am I having a toxic day? Like, what's going on? Um, and now I see why that just came up. Now I know, like a lot of times I'll do readings uh, or even beforehand for clients and things like that and I will get things and then I do the reading and it comes up and I'm like, ah, now I know what that was about, right? So you may even have the foresight of those kind of things as well that gives you, that helps you with the momentum spirit is saying. Four of swords, six of pentacles, the judgments card release and seven of wands boundaries. Um, I, I don't feel bad, Cancer. Again, if there are days that you just can't function the way that you want to. Maybe one day you, again, feel fantastic. One moment you do, the next moment you don't. It's kind of like um, somebody could also be blaming you for coming out and taking just enough and then going back in, into your, your, your hermit mode, if that's what you want to call it, or your resting period. Um, but it's like, it's your way of releasing this. Don't think that, I mean, obviously, use your own discernment that you're being a taker, right? I mean, you know if you're 
asking for too much. But I also think that this is about your boundary. And it's like you have to go back into protective mode. You're coming out, you're playing with it, you're gaining what you need, and then you're releasing it and then learning where to reestablish boundaries, spirit is saying. Um, and I think that's fear, you know, it's like fearful of you to be, you know, you're a nurturer, you're a lover, you're a carrier, you're a giver, to feel like you're you're cutting off certain things so that you can work on you. Don't feel guilt for that, okay? What is this devil card? <clears throat> the death card. What did I say earlier? And then the Empress underneath there. More major arcana is Cancer. This is a very pivotal time for you. Very transformational time with that death card. I said about staring that devil in the face, right? And just not taking, not taking what you did before laying down. Like you see it, you know it, you acknowledge it. And anytime that you're coming in contact with somebody, I keep getting this face. Like even, even though the, de the death card doesn't have a face, uh, I better lower that. Um, it's looking that devil in the face and again not allowing those situations that you're healing from to define who you are in this moment you know and, and that's that's a large part of it you're cutting it out and you're recognizing value and worth that you have built yourself up from nothing or what other people maybe thought you were nothing or something to that effect you're standing in your power and you're taking it back the star card spirit, the magician. I said alchemy, there it is, two of cups. You're reunifying partnerships that are based on your experience of who is truly going to be there and stand up for you. Gemini, the lover's card also. Um, King of pentacles, you can very much have a king of pentacles in your life that you lean on for this pro protection and love and support. Um, I feel like Cancer though, you've got a couple of people around you who are helping you through this healing process that are really boosting you to have faith in the unseen. And it is doing you absolute wonders. It truly is. It's beautiful. Beautiful energy, Cancer. I, this is probably the best reading I have ever done for you guys. I'm going to say this again. A lot, a lot of major arcanas. I'm going to repeat them to you. Temperance, Sag, Strength card, Leo energy, Justice card, Libra, Death card, Scorpio, Capricorn, um, the Devil card there. I also just heard too that someone has taught you how to work with this Devil or to cut this Devil out. Um, could be a Scorpio or Capricorn because that energy is sitting there. It doesn't have to be. But it's like someone has taught you how to transmute that negative energy that comes in with any type of toxicity or self-indulgence. Um, and Spirit's saying self-blame with the devil card. Someone's teaching you how to transmute that. Uh, you've got the judgment card. You've got the star card, Aquarius energy. The world, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius as well. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation, struck by love. And I, I think this is really, boils down to Cancer, is you loving yourself abundance positive mindset manifest gratitude and bliss and blessings and i'm going to take it healthy choices you're leading yourself into better commitments um and not holding yourself under a connotation of what you believe yourself to be after an experience you know uh, maybe 33 years ago who knows but uh what if they can't if situations cannot commit to you on the level in which you require it to be you're just not going to invest in those things anymore because you're making you a priority. I love this reading for you. This is fantastic. Yay, Cancer. Hell yeah. I'm digging this. All right, guys. I hope this reading helps you. I apologize for my stumbling over my words today. It's been that way all week. Uh, <laughs> who knows? Um, like, share, subscribe, comment. I appreciate all of the love and support, all of those ways. Again, those of you who are interested in personal readings, that information can be found in the description box below and the about section of the page. I'd love to hear from you. Take care of yourselves and I will see you soon. Bye.